Yeah. Shell going down 84 here. 138 on the clock, though. Cynic's pushing up aggressively towards top mid. Something you're going to see more and more on Dust2 with that uh, change towards dark corner, as you can see right there. Can't see from T-spawn towards double doors. And Carson is going to manage to get the opening frag on Cello. Nicely done there. 5v4 <laughs> in favor. I know what you're laughing about, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> but the, yep, the just name, enjoyed right? It. Well, yeah, yeah, we'll talk about that, why, why that is in a second yes. here. Uh, but it is a nice kill for Daisy. Um... <laughs> I might just keep that one. I kind of like that one for Carson. It's not bad at all. Yeah. Uh, bomb down, though. Makes this a decent post plant as well, especially if Woody can do any damage here out towards long. He's got the glass. He's going to set himself up for a fight, and he still eats the first. Classy a little bit slower into it, but Woody's going to think it's clear. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Made a bit of an assumption here. And this could be bad. So his teammates fighting through on towards catwalk. It's an even exchange. But Classia Ooh. now comes in for the extermination. He gets the third as well. E aí, galera. Beleza? Tá afim de ganhar um carro de luxo ou uma mansão gigante? Então, esse é meu sonho também. Mas eu não sei o segredo ainda. Porém, consigo te dar 5 dólares aqui no site Skins Monken para você fazer trocas de skin. Basta entrar no site, utilizar o cupom ARTS e além dos 5 dólares, você também vai ganhar 25% de bônus caso deposite aqui no site. O site tem variados métodos de pagamento e vai ser o lugar onde vai conseguir comprar skins no melhor preço do mercado. Vou mostrar na prática como é fazer as trocas de skin aqui no site. Adicione seu trade URL no site, coloque seu e-mail, selecione sua skin para trocar, escolha a skin que você deseja pegar e confirme. Corre no seu Steam Guard, aí no celular, aceite a proposta e pronto. Muito fácil, rapaziada. Agora é só aproveitar a skin no jogo e não esqueça, site no primeiro link da descrição, fortalece com o cupom. É nóis! A bit of an aggressive play out long. Now we see the guns out. We see the plan for MIBR. They won't be able to get away on skate. Carson does find a bit of a pick, but comes back the other way immediately. This long fight is proving costly for him. Gladiators for the to try and hold on to the territory. And he could do no such thing. All on to George now, and he's on the complete other side of the map, and he might just get blindsided by exit here. He's crept in towards B. One shot to the side of the head. All it'll take. And while he's missed him for now, are they going to completely miss each other? No. There's the spot. Now he knows. Player going up on Xbox. He knows where the last player is. They'll be able to isolate this in. They'll be able to pinch the site. And George, well, his days may be numbered here. This would take an absolutely incredible play to make it happen. And presumably Exit is just coming to his teammates. Hey, chill out. Try and distract as much as possible. And there we go. Two flashes. And they've bailed? They've bailed him to fake. They pulled the util. Now they're pressuring in towards B. Oh, no. And that Look means Classy is the only one who's alive. He's the only one who's here. Look He's being George. pressured. The flash is on. Do they find him? Oh, he is. At least two as well. A tough situation, a tough spot here. And now they're getting bumped up. They have to deal with Classy to be able to get this bomb down. But they're at a disadvantage. Bomb has been planted. What a huge Classy. Uh, and a shot missed for Woody. This might just all be over, John. Yeah. So he gets a reset, but no one's watching tunnels. I don't know if they have to, right? Because Carson can't really see anything. As long as uh, Woody doesn't go beyond that box, he's fine. But Cynic cleans his clock. And now Jota's the last one standing, and he will go down as well. So it go to MIBR, even though it is a force by coming through for the Gaming Gladiators. I don't Cynic know. I got this feeling that the Jasmine 5 7 think? clip comes through. Oh, he's giving it up. Never mind, know. he gave up the angle. Ah, he does get one, though. Not quite. Not quite a clip. Cynic could be dangerous, though, here from CT. He's definitely red. Less so yeah. once he's dead. <laughs> Confidence is starting to flow okay. here for the Brazilian. Yeah. He could be damaged here with it, and he does use blind and he gets the headshot on Turtle. Now he's going to the car class. Uh -oh. He's supporting. Jota gets the trade, so it is a 4v4. MIBR might want to bail off this. I'm not sure. Looks like they're going to keep taking the fight, and that was the right decision. George goes down to Cello, and now Gaming Gladiators are just going to go for the retake, Mike. It seems like when MIBR commits, they really commit. Yeah. Right? In towards every one of these takes. Sometimes they're their detriment, to be quite frank, right? Like a, a single flashbang or a mistimed flashbang on their own side, as we saw there, can really offset their whole tempo and leave them very much exposed. But in a three on four here, 
even though Cello and Jota are so low. Maybe that damage is unconfirmed. Maybe they don't know quite how low they are. And four crosshairs on the other side is never going to be an appetizing prospect. No, so they're, Gaming they're Gladiators is going to give this up. They're going to walk away with the three guns they've got. And that's going to be a huge dub for MIBR to take because there were multiple moments in that take where it looked like things might be going off the rail. Yeah, <laughs> those I little think mistakes. I going to realize that rather quickly, come in to reinforce. This now gets a whole lot better for the Gladiators. But Amali locks him out. Can Jasper come in to help his teammate? Not really. No. Not without revealing his spot, and he's already deployed the smoke, so you can't do it whatsoever. Here's clear towards Goose. It's not good, though, and the spacing is awkward, but Cello is still able to take this through. That bomb not planted. Carson denying. The will eventually go down, and now it's just left Yota to try and defend. They can play together on this retake. And that's a bit of a play from Jazz Pimp, but it does set up enough information. Yeah, might be able to take advantage of that, but the trick for them has been holding on to the post. Well, Chell's going to make a big play, but right into the waiting room. No problem there. All right. A chance. Pocket from the scaffold drops the bomb, and no one's with him. So there's certainly no chance at a trade, and this is all falling apart for MIBR. I like the ideas that came through. Concede this round to the game and Gladiator. Joseph just trying to save, but he gets caught up by Carson. Misses the shot on Carson. It's a little uh, late to join his comrades. This could be bad. This could be a little rough. They're getting stuck. Wait a sight. What is this what is doing here? Eventually, you got to go through. All right, he's going to find that space. They've got this initial play. This play on a ramp, but Daisy strikes at just the right moment. Making that happen here. The beautiful flower that is Carson. <laughs> come to kill. Now the long player can come on in, but it's a little bit too little too late. Turtle only gets the one, and now Jaspim can readjust. This has gotten really awkward. I don't know if they realize Yota's got all the way around. Oh, George reads it, expects it, sets up a smoke for the push as well. And now they don't even have a bomb plan, right? They have nothing working for them. Turtle's going to have to make a hero play happen here. And he's only got 10 seconds to do it. And they're just going to wait him out. Why not? As I say, they don't wait him out. Right, in the game of Gladiators and MIBR, if you wouldn't lead for the game of Gladiators, MIBR is going to be looking to take back some momentum, but Yota oh, may no. not be part of that puzzle. He gets peppered down. It took a whole lot of bullets to finish him off here, but he's down to the count. Now, Catwalk's being lost here in a big way. Would he, though? Oh, he secures it and drops the bomb straight into CT. Yeah, that bomb just landed right in his lap, Mike. Uh, bounced off the edge of Cat. And there you have it. Now, Classia is going to try and get it back. He's picked up a USP off the ground and taps a shot on forward, but he's the only one there towards long. He needs these two players that are both on different parts of the map as well. Jasmine trying to come up mid, and all of his shots not connecting. Turtle drops him. Classia at least gets one and keeps it at a 2v2, but they need to find another one here, and Classia could get Turtle. He spots him out and Cynic drops exit. That makes it a 2v1. What a crazy pistol round. It says Bin and it will go the way of the gaming gladiators. Well, he's going to have to pick up those perform that, that performance if he wants to get back to those numbers. Oh, play up tunnels. Doesn't work out very well. And here comes the overwhelm on towards Sight. That it's a little disjointed play here for the gladiators, perhaps, because, well, they've got someone up A. All the way up A, apparently. And instead of rerouting to join him, they're going to crunch in towards B with everybody. <laughs> They're like, hey, I cleared all of A. So let's go B, guys. This seems like a plan. And it's a plan that'll work quite well Cynic. for them. Let's see if they can come out on top once more. In fact, Cynic's just walking top mid. Turtle gets the opener and the second one. Classy and Carson just walked right into his crosshair. Don't We're going the way back into this. He's going to go back and dope. Oh, my goodness. He doesn't have it. Woody, a little bit quicker on it. Thought maybe that shoulder would appear around the corner. Just a bit too early, but... No, the right eye peak does not lead him to victory. Would he able to maneuver his way out of the crossfire there? Now, this could be a pretty darn tough take, especially with no smokes and a player coming at their flank. Yeah, you're just gonna have to cross at some point. And, well, you're not gonna go on in. The pinch into towards B could be really dangerous here. It's gonna be up to Cello and exit to make something of this before the teammates can come in and help. They're being overwhelmed. This spot's a no, but Turtle! Oh! Turtle finds a gap, and Turtle finds so... That's gonna be up to Woody. Up to Woody to clear it, and he's gonna see a player just slowly moving into his crosshair. That's a Two smokes. If you can get this kill on the offer, you can throw the cross smokes and get towards sight, but that's a big if. An offer a chance to strike again, and Woody is looking for more. Shotgun off. Bullet between the eyes! I don't even know how that happened. How many times do you have to be reported? Uh, I don't know. 
exactly. But here comes a bit of a massacre. Oh, oh. and it's looking good so far for the gladiators. They're going to be able to... Duh. Spots the offer, but this might be a trap to lure him on in. Oh, Yolta striking, doing good damage. Trying to bring his team back into control. The position wants to go bold. That is bold. They're coming up. They're right in his face, and they are going to be able... There's a player in your spot saying, hey, I have these seats reserved. Oh. That was a bold one from Carson. Didn't realize there was a player in pit, and he wanted to take that space, so... Well, you might have a tough spot here. Turtle doesn't care. He finds two <laughs> out of the spot. He is so dang good right now. And the game and gladiators have come to mind that they've gotten the pit. The pit is still a strong position. Yeah. Don't know that you want to duel an off. Oh! That was a little bit of luck. <laughs> Speaking of a little bit of luck, he's lined it up on that one. He's still got it. And it's all falling to Carson as Matt Point is on deck. MIBR. They on comes the play in towards Cowboy, but Yota wants to get ahead of it. He wants to get right into the fun, right into the action. There's still a curtain of smokes, but this spam might just be enough, and indeed it is. A one for one, maybe not ideal there, but his teammates now have the early warning, oh. and Woody will take another oh. swing. That's the bomb down. That's just Cynic remaining, and that's. On deck, and I am very curious to see this uh, this ancient come through for the game of gladiators. So, how was the T side, John? How was the T side last time you watched it? Uh, it was actually pretty good as well. Uh, they were solid on both sides. They picked up quite a few rounds in their T side. I can't remember exactly how many, but uh, they really brought it to Team One. Okay. It was very difficult for Team One to hang on on their CT side, and that was part of the reason why Gaming Gladiators won that one 16 11. Certainly, if you can convert here in the early rounds, it is a big boon, a blessing. Cello dancing around the pillar. He's down for the count. Turtle followed. Woody will try and give them uh, a little bit of an inroads to get back in this round, but he's going to need his teammates to deliver. He's ahead of that flashbang. Woody's hitting right now. That form of the bombs ticking away, and as he tries oh. to get forward to get the kit, he'll be dropped. Now this is looking pretty darn tricky for Exit. And we'll start to make a bit of a move on in Cynic. It's not to be. Now they'll have to group and a really tough retake. I mean... Jota, he's got one. Not quite found. He takes two! What a way to finish your move. And now Carson's caught out in the open. And while that kill does come through, certainly that should allow the opportunity to keep the door to come in for his team to follow. And they're going to do exactly that. It's all under Carson. He's been spotted as well. No, he's just trying to keep the player off the team. Nothing of the sort. And he's down for the count. They don't have time. They don't have time. I don't think... Oh, my oh. goodness. Got no presence actually in towards A. So George has just been able to walk out. He's been boosted up as well. So now he's got the spot. Oh, well, Eggs is going to try and re-rally on towards the plane towards the catacombs. He's oh. going to get himself his first kill. I was going to say he's been having a tough time with it anchoring this side of the map. It's a tricky roll. But this time, he gets one. Give him the advantage back, and he left. He left. He completely gave it up. All of the information. They're going to play retake here on A. And at this point, having cleared out all of the ground around B main, they realize, hey, probably an A take. I'm not sure they're going to get the plant here. They really stalled out for a long time to the game. Gladiators expecting someone to be in donut. Exit does drop another one here. Two-man edge. Plus pimp. Miss Fort Cynic on the bomb plant, and he is going to stick it to dirt. Jota finds Jazz, but it is going to be a 1v4 for Cynic, and now a 4v9. It's taken down to 48. He really can't call out any damage to Woody, and Woody, despite the fact he was flashbang, peeks around, gets one, and Cello also flashbang. Now this chase for Cynic is going to be critical. They have to do it. He tries to go ahead of the utility, and it doesn't work. Cello rings his bell, and this round is over. There's just nothing to do with Carson soon to follow, and he... Ranks. Jota is going to get it. That's a freebie. Well done for Jaspim, considering the health he's had to work with. Not going to make it oh, much no. longer, but he sets up his teammate for the trade. The problem is, everybody else dies at the same time. Yeah, I remember I just collapsed. There. I think most of the action happening at Snake, and Woody gets to uh, charge on forward. And there's the utility to into Cave. Cello's exposed, but he still manages to recover there. A bit of a sloppy spray at the beginning. He gets the headshot on Carson at the end. Great flash being thrown here by him. It was, but it's classy to find that opener exit and Jota get a combo. And the gladiators don't look now, but they have control of this site, although it's very, very precarious. Classy up close though. Woody's not going to clear this. He doesn't expect it to be so far oh, forward. Oh no! Oh, Classy's thinking about the knife. Thought about it. Thought about it. Decided better. Could have gotten the knife. 
Would have had it, but now it's gonna be up to Classy to pull off the clutch. Maybe the knife would have saved that extra five bullets. Let's see if it comes back to cost him. He's got the first player now down to 12 in the magazine, but the bomb to play off of. There's the tap. There's the check, and he doesn't need them at all. Molly, but it's all the way on the other side of the map, so it's going to be about the guns now. Here comes the beat. Nice shot from George. Nice entry. Flashbang's effective as well. They've isolated the player. Turtle can't get away. He's fortunate to even get one there, to be quite frank. And that volley yeah. it's not quite on the side of the land. Down it goes, and suddenly Classia. it's all fallen to ruin here for MIBR. Classy has to be careful. He almost died in that Molotov. Goes down to 14, but uh, MIBR, they can go for this. There's no question. They've got the money, and they absolutely will. Woody peeking in. If he finds Classia, that's good for them. Will they expect Cynic to be there as well as another question? They don't have a smoke uh, to get the eyes off cave. Oh, Classia gets the headshot all up to exit now, and I think he's... Uh, try and find a frag here and duck and cover. There's Jasmine down. He sees the op, grabs it. And we'll be going for the save. So, good job by the Game and Gladiators. Now they are up to five. Very nice take of the... George was thinking about going into Donut, but backed off of it and throws a Molotov deep into Red Room. So that Donut is a little risk here. And they're going to try and get up Snake. This is the wrong plan. It's a double setup. Two-man setup here for MIBR. Cello gets one. So does Woody. And then Cello drops his second. It's all up to Classia. Does get Turtle, but he's only got a Mac 10. Long range, and it works against Cello. That is not an engagement that Cello should have lost. He did play well nearly going to this round, so can't really knock him too much, but that was costly as Classia now upgrades the A1S. Only 15 HP left and still has to go and recover the bomb, but MIBR are going to give it to him at this point because they are separated from each other, Mike. I love the Classia clutch. On the car, it's certainly the comms are here. What are you out to the just the yeah. USP? Oh, time is good. Class is going around. Might be a little bit of misinformation. He might be getting this one for free. Isolates the player, and there it is. Now he's got the site. Now he's got the bomb plant. Now he's got all the time in the world as well to set up and post. If he waits too long. Now posted, he's going to have to cross the op just to get in. And there's the shot. Classia what? has it. A match. Walking through here. Game and Gladiators want to go for this quick A pop once more. The smokes are good. They're charging on through. Have to be careful of Catacombs. Jota gets one. Not a second, though. That's Carver finding him. And George jumps on top of the box to find himself a second in the round and give his team the man advantage. Messy, messy, messy. But it worked. Yeah, they have no idea. Patience. MIBR have completely faked themselves out of this. But he's coming back through at just the right time, but it doesn't matter now. Cynics here and ready. The spot was in, and now it's all on Cello to pull off a clutch. This would have been a viable fight in the 2 on 3. But they gave up the site. They gave up the game. They overthought it once again, and now they get nothing Our out game of and Gladiator is putting on a clinic in that last round. So we'll talk about it after this, though, because it uh, looks like it's going to be a quick push by MIBR in towards this A site. George gets one bell, another, but Jota and Woody do respond to find a couple of their own, and now they are going to back off of A. They realize the rotations come through for the game and Gladiators, so they slow up the pace and might rotate to a free and clear B site unless the game and Gladiators adjust. And it looks like Jasmine's going to do exactly that heading on over. But yeah, um, a moment to talk here. That was such good poise and patience from the game and Gladiators, something we would have never seen, I think, last season. They were much more fast and furious style of play. Just a very big brain move to wait three players on the site and outplay MIBR. Woody's going to drop Jazz Pimp here, and that will make it a 3v2 in favor of Made in Brazil. So that's also the bomb plant that will likely come through. Cynic is rotating around. I think he's managed to slip through. Dangerous moment there, but he gets shut down. Can't connect with the CZ. Definitely does favor that pistol in the rounds. Not going to happen here. Great round from Woody so far. George pull off an improbable clutch. They got some big ones from Classy in the first half. They could use another. And George has started it out nice, nicely. Excuse me there. George gaining ground, gaining space. He's going to tap with the bomb early, but do they bite? So check from the ramp. They're going to realize he's not on the bomb. No, they don't actually have full vision on it. But now they, they definitely know. And at this point, they could just toy with him. They could just toy with the block. He doesn't have the kit. He doesn't have the possibility of winning this one. And Jota. Big run to take from IBR to make us think they can convert this map. Trade, not bad here either. But Cynic's position could be a bit cheeky if they try to get for a deeper plant. 
It's falling out of fashion with teams, but as the smoke fades, he's got a chance to make a play on through, and they're hesitating. They don't want to get this bomb down yet. They were hoping to make a play. They're to get further kills, and they're not able to do so. They're faltering. Turtle was trying to catch somebody in rotation, but that's not happening at all. Oh, that smoke's up. Yeah, it gives him something, though. Little damage to the box isn't going to be conclusive. Still on a post plate. This is a whole lot better for Turtle and Woody now. The Game of Gladiators have given themselves a real chance and so much better now as well. There's a catch one coming off of the site. It's all on to Turtle. He's got the bomb to play off of, but he's really got nothing else working for him. If he just gets smoked off, which he has it, that lineup, they don't even need to be in the lineup. They can be back on the corner. This is a freebie for Oof. the Gladiators and a kill. It's be that the full kit of it. Cello, gonna peek around this corner, sees a lot of action. Here's it anyway, coming from Snake, and Jota does manage to open up a little bit of space for his team towards B. Throws a pop flash, and another one followed up, but that Molotov is so important. In fact, Jota, unnecessarily maybe? I don't know, he might have been forced to some retreat from that one, but he does burn to an itty bitty crisp and make this one a 3v3. At least he gets the bomb further back so his teammates can retrieve it, yeah. right? That's a critical thing to think about. In that Molotov, he needed to make sure it was further back. Could have maybe yeeted it, but you know. Heat of the moment, quite literally. And now they've got A! Now they've wow. got A. Cynic had abandoned his angle, wanted to reposition. Oh! Oh! oh a person. second as well! Okay. All in wow. a cello now. They've had so much trouble holding on to these in the post plants. Smoke covers it off. As well, does he have his angles? He doesn't even have the cost. He doesn't even have the cover. They're going to have this defuse on. There's nothing that he can do about it. And Jazz Smoke is waiting to just keep the player off the window peak. But are they going to stay focused on it? They are. Carson has been checked. He still gets that kill. He still pulls that kill through. It's a bit of a massacre here. Three on three, though. This is viable. And oh, Turtles gain some space. This is not something we've seen from MIBR. Nice for Turtle to do something huge here. Won't play his hand too quickly, but with only 30 seconds remaining, he's gonna have Cynic to do has it. No idea. He got Cynic for free. There's the shot. There's the play on in, and there's Jota. Now play. Players. No one's here. <laughs> Look at the discipline. All right, so he's like, all right, just come to side. Get this kill. Ah! Can't flub it, and he doesn't. It's always the kills that get away from you, right? Now the bomb goes yeah. down. So they got these players corralled in. Utility even to make life difficult. Classic can go through this, which is bold. But he felt like he had to make a bold play to give him a chance at the round. And, well, there really shouldn't be a whole lot more doing here. Well, and okay. you're right, Mike. I'm pretty sure he calmed out and said, whoa, hold the phone, guys. Let's see what I can find um, slipping on through here onto the flank. And he clears out so many positions. The trigger discipline. It's hard to have that when much discipline. That previous round to go he's going to do it again. Oh, my gosh. This time no he's, like, he's like, I don't know if I can play it all the way around like I did. Go. Right, you just can't wait. 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. You can't wait for him to do something on the other side of the map. He's like, guys, A is clear. A is clear. Uh, it doesn't matter. You can't respond and react. Everybody's here for the game in Gladiators because they recognize the scenario. They recognize the situation. And Classia hasn't revealed himself yet. So now he does. Nice shot in. Another one coming through. Out of bullets. But that's going to be the massacre. And there is nothing to do to about this. He played his mm. hand way too slow. And I don't and think they've done it again here. So now this might be the bomb in. Carson, though, he's ahead of it. I think he was spotted. Yeah, they're responding. They're reacting. Yeah, they That's a bold beat Ooh. from Jota. But the problem is two of their players are on the other side of the map. They need those reinforcements to come through. They need to find some sort of impact for them. This long, late developing alert does you no good if you drop the bomb on site in the meantime. This could be a big play, though. Woody through the middle. Now they're just leaving Cello as a bit of a fake, it seems, and maybe rotating the bomb back. But why is it coming back through? Exit. What's the plan? Why are What's you still in A main? Here? What are you? What are they doing? There are three completely isolated players, and I still have no idea where they intend to play at this bomb. And there's 30 seconds remaining. What's what? happening? You, you don't get bonus points for taking every site at once. <laughs> and now they're back to B. This what? is so risky. Wait. 
What? What? He gets two. What? You don't have the site though. They don't have B. Now they're running they're back to back A. A. They've got mid. What is happening? What is gonna die here? He's been pinched. So it's gonna be a one on two where Exit still has to play at the dang bomb. Admittedly, Game and Gladiators have no idea where this bomb is. <laughs> no. Because I don't have any idea where this bomb is. What is happening in this round? Now Exit has a chance at a clutch, and all will be forgiven if he pulls off this clutch. But what on earth? I just want to know what the calls were and the sequence of calls from MIBR because I am wrapping my head around this one. All right. I... Can he pull it off, John? Can he pull it off? It's all for naught. Unless he doesn't shoot so good. That's going to be a defuse on, and that is going to be the game in Gladiators taking around. Opening pick, okay. though. That does embolden this MIBR side, right? We saw this again. When they lose those opening picks, life is just a lot of Oh, the lineup! Trade there. Had to get that trade. It had to yes. happen, and it does indeed. Now, Cynic's forced off the angle. This does represent an opportunity, but they've lurked the player through mid again. And this time, there's 30 seconds on the clock. They're rotating. What? Oh, my goodness. They like to They do have clock. it now. This time they have time. This time they have control. This time they have a huge. I don't know. Kill. That's a that's a good question. Because <laughs> they, they, they they he worked his way all the way through mid. He kills the mid yeah. player. Do you see Carson with a potential engagement with Jota, but the smoke thrown by his own team will guys off the position of Jota, oh, who could sneak goodness. past Classy for the third time. So cheeky. he could get in on a flank here. This is huge for MIBR. Classy is watching it though. Fade and he looks away. Timing is brutal there. That's a huge kill to find. Once again, bisects the defense. Jota has been such a huge part of their success here. But yep. this is another one of those rounds where he found the forward position. He gives it up to the tune of another kill. Fair play. You survive with one HP. That wasn't a FAMAS on the other side. Don't know that you would have had that luck. But uh, you take those. You certainly do take those. Looks like they're going to mass for a B hit. They've got no presence anywhere else. They have put the doubt in Gaiman's minds that a flank could be coming through. Push through mid. Perfect timing right now for them. Oh, the slip in towards the cubby, though, for Jazz Pimp. They're going to clear it. They have to clear it. Yeah. But they don't clear it. And there it goes. Trade is fine. Molotov deep. This bomb can be planted. This is a pretty prime post plant. Even trying to make a bold play is Cynic, and he gets his bell rung. It's all on to George now. Yeeting himself in with a UMD. Trying to get something, anything as an upgrade, and it's all over. There we go. Go. <laughs> MIPR take it in two, but holy cow, did they do it yeah. the hard way. There were so many battles of rounds, and you talked about it. This game and Gladiators team are always going to give you a run for their money, and they did it again. Yeah, they're, they're a solid squad. They certainly...